everybody. Welcome back. I recently shared a post um, on Instagram of these little tags, and I've had several um, people get back and ask me if I'd do a tutorial. It's a really quick project, guys, um, but I thought I would just go ahead and do it since so many people were interested. Um, what it was, again, I was trying to clear out some things that I'd already printed, and both of these kit are yeah kits are come have come from a shop on Etsy called Ilapa and what it is <clears throat> these are definition pa uh, tags you they come on a, sh a sheet of six and I've printed that out and then you get a, a sheet of um, let me see you get about what I don't know. I think you get about 12 of these on a sheet, if I'm not mistaken. So I went ahead and cut them up um, before the video just to make this a little bit quicker. So here, because I was trying to use them up, I just went ahead and backed it uh, with another card. Like I said, I was just trying to use these, but you wouldn't have to do that. What I'm going to do on this one is just cut it out, and then I'm going to back it with just a plain so that you could do some journaling on the back of these. Um, so that's that's how I got the idea for this. Like I said, it's really simple um, to create. The first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm just going to do two of these for you guys because um, I'll do the rest of these in the back, uh, you know, off camera. So the first thing I did was cut out the tag and then just grab... A little circle die. Because these tags are quite small, this is the size I used to cut these out, but it would have just left, it would have been too narrow around that, so what I did was just end up using the smaller size, and I cut out just a little section, you know, and just making sure that I left enough room there um, but what you, you will lose the numbers, but I didn't it didn't really matter to me I think they're just adorable the way they came out and like I said this this time I'm just going to back it with plain um, paper, so <clears throat> That's how I'm going to do it. Just cut that quickly So just use a, a circle punch or a die and you could do, um, well, it does need to be a circle. Sorry, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. Just, just, just ignore me. <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> so let me just cut another one. Like I said, and I did keep the little. Um, I've just started saving these because I actually think when I'm doing some uh, little clusters for corner tucks, I'm, I think the little. Uh, wording is going to be nice to save, so just hang on to those because I'm sure we can find another use for that. Yeah, little by little I'm getting through some of the um, old printouts. Sorry about my phone, guys. I, um, I don't know. I've got the sound down. It's still... It's still um, it's bleeping at me. You know, I've told you time and time again, I'm absolutely useless with technology, so it's just a mystery. I've got the sound out. How can I still be hearing things? <laughs> okay, so let's get on here. So in error, I ordered some 100 weight cardstock the other day, and oh my gosh, it's like so thin. And this is just going to be perfect because... I've printed the tags out on, I think it's 200 GSM, so I don't really need the, the added bulk. So this is going to be a great use for that as well. Now, let me grab my little cake collar. Yes, I finally remembered it, guys. Um, it was so funny last night. I woke up in the middle of the night because I was thinking about the... Um, what I wanted to get done today, and I thought, well, I want to do a video because 
couple of, like I said, quite a few ladies have asked me if I would do this tutorial. And, uh, you know, in bed I was like, what's the name of that stuff? Because every time I do a, a tutorial using this, my mind just goes absolutely blank. And I, I don't know why it will not stick. But, um, luckily, it's come to me today. So, alrighty, let's get that glued down to form a little window. I use too much glue. I'll have to get the excess off here in a second. Like I said, I really, you know, it's it's so easy, guys. I it's You really don't need a tutorial, but like I said, I thought I'd go ahead and do one. And it doesn't uh, necessarily have to be these images. You could use book page, um, you know, illustrations, anything. You, it doesn't have to be these. These were just things I had in my stash and really wanted to, um, to use up. So let me just choose a couple. I really like the idea of these two. I'll save those for something else. just centering that so that I have it pretty even and if any of it hangs over you can just cut that off once we back it to some paper like I said for me I'm going to um, just put this on here and then I'll trim around it and then I'll probably run this one through the machine just to make them a little bit nicer but how quick and easy are those and I just think they're so cute and then you can add some really colorful um, seam binding or lace whatever you want to do let me go ahead and put this one down here So let's cut those out, and then I'll put them through the machine. It might be quite pretty to use some, um, some black thread on this, I think, today, because I haven't had... I've had my <clears throat> machine just using a lot of white lately for uh, the projects I've been working on. Just I haven't had my much call to use the black, so it'll be kind of nice to get the black out, I think, on this. And then I might even add a um, metal eyelet just to spruce them up a little bit. But I just thought they were so cute. I don't know, it just came to me. I was, like I said, I was digging through. And sometimes when I'm doing um, journals, I'll just print out a lot of things that I think will go along with it. And of course, over years and years of that, I have accumulated a lot of digitals. And I just thought this is getting crazy, so that's what made me think to go ahead and um, and as soon as I pulled them out, I was like, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Because I love the definition, um, but I thought it would be nice to have something showing through the little window. So that's how they're looking so far, guys. Let me run, get some sewing on this, and then we'll add some more thin little things to it, and I'll be Okay, I have run that through the machine, guys, and now you can see how that's come out. You've got a place to write on the back here, and I think on these I will add a couple of uh, brads to those, or not brads, um, eyelets. Let's get, get a hole punched, we'll get those. OK, 
Okay, yeah, those are looking good. And now, just get a little bit of seam binding in there. And you can see these are just so quick and easy to make, but I think they're really going to be pretty in a pocket for a botanical journal. Okay, guys. Oh, yeah, I do think the black thread makes a big difference. I'm going to go back, I think, and stitch these with some thread. That is, that's really adding a lot to it. So there you can see up close. And that is it. That's all there is to it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I, like I said, you know, you could certainly just put some book um, images behind there. Anything, any other digitals will work perfectly well as you know, to do this with us too. So anyways, guys, that's it for today. Take care of yourselves and I'll be back very soon with some more ideas. Bye-bye.